Hi guys, today's video is going to be about what to do if you have been rejected by Cambly. And this will not only include some things to do while you're waiting on Cambly, but if you've actually gotten rejected by Cambly, but also some Cambly alternatives, both teaching and non-teaching. So stick around and let's get to it. So the first thing I want to address is if you've actually been rejected by Cambly, they sent you an email and saying, we're sorry to tell you this, but you have not been accepted. So there are really three things that I would recommend. If you want a whole another video about it, then I will do more research and ask the company themselves. But this is just my personal tips right now. The first thing I would do is to check my written profile. Okay, I know this might seem like normal advice, but definitely check your written profile. And I would check it with Grammarly to make sure there are no grammar mistakes. Um, because sometimes we type as we talk. And to be honest, I know myself, my sister, she's like, you're supposed to be this English teacher. Your grammar is not that great. So that's just, sometimes it's just how we talk as natives and we don't always use the best grammar. So I would check that, check your grammar using Grammarly. It is a plugin that I love to use and it's free. If you've never heard of it, I will link it down below. I will also check my written profile to make sure I get to the point. I think sometimes uh, tutors might over explain things but since no experience is required they might feel like they have to explain a lot of their non teaching related experiences but i would just get straight to the point be as detailed yet clear as possible just get to the point state your experience don't overindulge and also don't share too much about like your personal hobbies and things like that i think that is going to happen or that is going to be needed more so when you are accepted and then if you want to edit anything that's great because when you're submitting your profile to see if it's going to be accepted this is for the company not the students so then once you actually get approved and accepted then maybe you can add a bit more personal things which brings me to the next thing your intro video um maybe you want to look at that again to make sure you also get straight to the point. The advice that I have given previously about intro videos, yes, you do want to mention something about yourself and something about your likes and interests, but also uh, don't make that the most important feature of your video, okay? Just mention that briefly, but still make the video about your teaching style and who you are as a teacher. And again, if you don't wanna mention your hobbies right now, when you are first applying, that's okay. You can always re-edit or re-upload your video, okay? So not too much pressure on that. And also, Cambly just released a video about why some intro videos are rejected. I did not watch the video, but um, I think it would be helpful to check it out, especially since it's directly from Cambly themselves. And the third thing that I would do is to ask for help get a mentor get someone that has been in the esl community for a while and ask them for help now a lot of people that have been watching my videos and that have found me through youtube have been reaching out to me and for those people i am so sorry if i have not gotten back to you in time i know someone tried to reach out to me on facebook messenger but that's not an app that i use frequently or it wasn't anyway so um, I did not get the message until weeks later. And even sometimes on Instagram, I'm not always active and it can be very hard to um, respond. So I think if you do want my help, it's better to send me an email. Here's my email. But even then, I would recommend other teachers just because right now I know you deserve more time than I'm able to give. And because of that, I am recommending other teachers. If you still wanna use my referral code, but you don't need my help, feel free to do that. And of course, I will always love referrals, but at the same time, I understand that you all need help and you need it now. And I will link the teachers that I recommend down below. Just a brief review. If you have been rejected by Cambly, 
recheck your written profile for grammar mistakes and making sure you're brief and to the point and for your video also check for grammar mistakes maybe your sound is not great your lighting or maybe your recording quality isn't great either so check for that and get a mentor sometimes you need more than just watching a video maybe you actually need to talk to someone to help you guide you through the process so those are the three tips that I will have for those who have been rejected by Cambly. But what about those who have been rejected, but they put their best foot forward, but they still need a way to make money or even still those who are waiting for Cambly to respond, but they still need some ways to make some money. So right now I'm going to share with you some teaching alternatives. And then later on, I will share with you some non-teaching alternatives to Cambly. Okay.